Introduction The conservation of the angular momentum is a major law of physics. However, it is not taken into consideration in fluid mechanics. In cosmology, this principle is applied within the systems of sidereal bodies, such as galaxies during their formation. Global compensation is also admitted. But the variations in the rotational speeds of stars themselves, like the Earth, have no means of compensation, yet necessary by the conservation of angular momentum. This video shows that main changes are involved, in the theoretical approach of fluid mechanics and cosmology, when the angular momentum conservation is applied. In fluid mechanics, several flow anomalies can be solved. In cosmology, it appears impossible to avoid an action at a distance, without giving the space itself, the capacity to transmit angular moments. The frictions within fluids The frictions in fluids was considered, up to now, as similar to friction between solids. This is very surprising, because fluid particles may rotate around themselves. In this new approach, the friction is a result of the differential rotation speed between particles. This approach allows for explaining major anomalies of fluid mechanics. On the one hand, the free surface of whirlwell flows is above the theoretical level. On the other hand, the angle of separation of the laminar flow around a cylinder is about 82 degrees. Neither the speed profiles nor the various assumptions proposed up to now allow for such an angle below 90 degrees, which is the angle where the differential pressure sign changes. When introducing the kinetic momentum, the fluid mechanics equations in cylindrical coordinates provide a complementary term related to the Coriolis acceleration. However, they mainly allow for a new approach of friction within fluids, leading to a common solution to both non-conformances, complying with experiments. In addition, a full and accurate description of the various configurations of the flow around a cylinder has been obtained. This new approach of friction within fluid also allows for explaining the matrix vortices appearing in a superfluid rotated in a bucket without any need of quantum mechanics hypotheses and postulates. The acceleration of the Earth revolution speed. Until now, there has been a decrease in the speed of the Earth's rotation on itself. The explanation of this phenomenon, leading to an extension of the length of the days, was based on the phenomenon of the tides. Frictions result both from the deformation of the Earth itself, and from the currents generated by the tides. This explanation agrees with the principle of conservation of energy, although no quantified estimation has been proposed. But very unfortunately, does not ensure conservation of angular momentum. In fact, the deformations and currents are symmetrical, both towards the east and the west, and towards the north and the south. The moments cancel each other out. The worst is that since 2016 the speed of rotation of the Earth on itself increases. It has been imagined explanation based upon to a motion of the fluid magma internal to the Earth, while this supposed motion has never received any explanation or verification. And even, if it had an explanation, it does not respect the conservation of angular momentum, since it would need a coexisting motion, in the opposite direction, and everything would end up by friction loss. Another idea was a rebalancing with the rotation of the moon. This would require an action at a distance. This is a nonsense. So there must, necessarily, be a medium in space, an ether, 
the only thing allowing for a rebalancing of the angular momentum, by contact with the matter of the rotating Earth, and thus without action at a distance. The angular momentum within ether. The introduction of angular momentum of particles, in the ether, has a major consequence. When two of these particles collide, the angular momentum is transmitted according to Descartes' laws. This transmission occurs by elastic deformation of the particles of ether. The elastic deformation of particles of ether prevents the sliding of particles over each other as a result of the flattening of the parts in contact. When electrons oscillate, they transmit not only their momentum to the particles of ether, but also their angular momentum. Angular momentum can only be transmitted transversely. Each wave train is therefore polarized, in the orientation of the angular momentum of the emitting electrons. On another hand, the rotation of perfect fluids in vortices, exactly compensates for the spinning on themselves of fluid particles. This flow is irritational. It is not the same in the ether. The angular kinetic energy of particles in ether, doubles the energy term. The rotation of vortices requires, an input of angular kinetic energy. It can only come, from the angular kinetic energy of particles of ether. The rotation of vortices absorbs, some of the angular kinetic energy of particles of ether. So that, for example, near the sun where the speed of rotation is very high, the law of tangential speeds is no longer exactly, the inverse of the square root of the distance. A similar phenomenon occurs for galaxies, which do not respect this law either. Their size leads to a very significant decrease in the angular kinetic energy available when approaching their eye. The tangential speed goes from 1 on the square root of r to 1 on r, according to the red curve. It varies very little over a great distance. The flow from the ether filling space, in the plane of the galaxy, in the transition zone, therefore occurs at constant speed, independent of the distance from the eye of the galaxy. There is no need for dark matter. As in atmospheric cyclones, and eddies in water, the tangential velocity of the ether, near the eye of the galaxy, may be so high, that a calm zone is formed devoid of matter, and therefore emitting no light, a black hole. Conclusion Scientists recognize that, the general relativity theory does not respect the conservation of angular momentum. The angular momentum of a massive body, causes it to lose energy, in the form of gravitational waves, strictly speaking, there is no conservation of the angular momentum. It would be a very negligible problem. The Earth turns, the Sun turns, the galaxy turns, everything turns in the sky. Without the slightest variation? The conservation of the angular momentum is an unnecessary rule for relativists. The general relativity theory, which is essentially continuous, is irreconcilable with quantum mechanics, which is essentially discontinuous. It now appears, in addition, that the general relativity theory, is unable to conform to the conservation, of the angular momentum. It's too much. This is really too much.